Hey guys, what's up today? I got a never use match for you today again. And I am using Girl Vile, um, inspired by the guy who wrecked me with it last time. But anyways, leading off with my whatever it was, switch into my thing to take the hit. Now I'm in my Raticate, alright? I actually made a pretty good prediction and made a double switch right back into my lead Raticate because I knew he wasn't going to stay in and go for another close combat. And, um... And then I went for the Swords Dance because I knew that thing couldn't, like, one-hit me or anything. And then I just straight up take it out. So that's a quick one Pokemon down for him, I guess I could say. And um, I just go for the rest thinking he was going to switch or maybe hit me again, which he decided to do. But I just Sleep Tuck the Roar and Roar him out. Which is pretty cool, and then I roar the slacking out too, which is kind of unfortunate because slacking does have true on, so if it stayed in, I could set up or switch or something, but whatever. So I switch into my Grumpig to take this special hit, and he goes for the Dragon Pulse, which is cool. And um, he I could have gone for the Taunt right there, but um, I wanted to wake my Shellgon up so I could keep it. But he just goes for the Earthquake and takes it out, so I don't get to keep it. And I go into my Raichu because it has the Ice Gem. And even an Ice Gem boosted um, Hidden Power Ice could not take out the Torterra. So it is more than definitely a defensive set. And that's pretty crazy because that's a four times resisted Ice Gem boosted attack. And I was very surprised that it lived that. But um, he goes into his Ditto for some reason. He could have gone into his Slacking or probably even his Sock to revenge me. And we both paralyze each other. And if I went for the Thunder Wave right on that turn, it probably would have made a difference. And my Grumpig may have still been alive. Maybe, probably not. And I go into my Raticate because oh, um, of his Truant so I could get the Swords Dance up. And now I'm at like plus three technically and I just go for the sucker punch in case he was going to go for the sucker punch because I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to go for the swords dance. And so I just decided to sucker punch again because I can't switch back into the rocks and I may as well get a good chunk off of him. And I go into my Kingler and Kingler has a pretty high defense and I knew I could take one so I just went for the agility and I should have gone for the rock slide because on this well i now my kingler before i changed this set it was sheer force with three attacks and agility and life orb but then i realized that sheer force only benefited one so i changed it and um wow i just failed at narrating the last turn but um yeah he just takes me out with an air slash so it wasn't that interesting but um anyways yeah, I was explaining my Kingler set, and I don't know why a lot of people don't use that. Like, it's it's the strongest water type there is, and it's in NU. I mean, it's pretty dang good, if I must say. I mean, I was using it for two hours, and it was doing work. But anyways, um, yeah, click that like button if you enjoyed this. But you don't have to. Goodbye.